Good morning, it is Saturday. We're gonna do a weekend day in the life. I'm in the middle of trying to put my makeup on, so hopefully this will look a lot different here in a second. Um, but we are gonna head out. There is a Pokemon trading card event going on today, so we're gonna take the girls over to that. We're gonna try to do some cleaning around the house, and now that I let my big change, not really a secret, but kind of what was going on in the background, now that I made a video about it, I can let you know kind of what else I'm doing in the weekend. So I waited to the right moment to mention anything, but um, I'm really excited now that I can kind of share, like I'm working on my real estate license class. So I'm trying to do that a little bit along every single night. I am doing an online version, so I can do it at you know the time periods when I can do it, and I can still work and help train who will be coming into my position and all of that um, at work. So, so far, knock on wood, it's working well, um, but I've taken online classes before, so I was kind of expecting the format that it is, and hopefully it should all work out. So I'm about 30% of the course. I'm gonna try to do a little bit today and probably a little bit tonight, and then same thing tomorrow, and then just work through the week. And eventually, hopefully, long about the time we go to Disney in March, my goal or my plan is to hopefully be at least 90 to 100% of through the class so then I can bring my book with me while we're traveling and study with the book while we're gone. And then after we get back, take the like official, I have to take two proctored tests to be like officially licensed and all that. So that's my goal. We'll see if it changes. Obviously there's a lot of life happening right now. I ordered the furniture for the office and so hopefully now you understand why I was panicking so much about it. Because people were like, why are you stressed? stressed out about this like this is not a big deal it's not but at the same time I knew I kind of had like an imminent timeline of like I needed a workspace here at home to be able to get things done so I really wanted to try to find something I lucked out on President's Day the same set that I had been looking at somewhere else I found out on super it was called like a flash sale or whatever on Birch Lane uh, which birchlane.com if you haven't checked it out this is not sponsored or anything but I, um, I look there occasionally to try to find, you know, decor pieces and everything. Um, so I found it on there for like super sale during President's Day and ordered the stuff I had been looking at. So the desk has already arrived and the little like kind of storage cabinet thing that I ordered. So I was looking at this like giant hutch thing and then I decided it might be a little bit overwhelming for the room. So I ordered just the lower cadenza hutch buffet, whatever you want to call it, um, cabinetry that I can use, it has shelving on it, so I can put books and Scentsy stock and all those sorts of things on the shelving. And that's arriving sometime in the beginning of March because they do like a hand delivery for that since it's got, I ordered the mirrored one, which I hope I don't regret that for filming because it's gonna bounce a lot of light off of it, but I ordered the mirrored one, so it's gonna be heavy and um, very breakable. So <laughs> fingers crossed that all arrives in uh, one piece. I am working on my makeup. all my makeup here in my drawer and I'm going to just finish putting on some lip product, get my eye makeup on, some mascara, and we're going to head out to this Pokemon event this morning. And I'm still planning on trying to get my hair cut. I think at this point I'm not going to be able to get it done until my schedule kind of changes and I have a little bit more time during the daytime hours. But I'm planning, if you watch my channel two or three years ago, probably three years ago, when we were in Michigan, um, I think like time, kind of towards the end of the time period that we're in Michigan. Anyways, um, I kind of had a uh, bob where it kind of, it wasn't a full inverted, but it was stacked in the back just a little bit and then came across my face like this. Um, and so I want to try to find someone here that could cut my hair like that because I like that style. It's really super quick and easy to um, like style in the mornings with my hair. And I was going to try, if you guys remember, if you watched me way, way back on Bakes for Bubbles, I've grown out my hair a couple times and donated the ponytails to Pantene uh, Locks of Love. And I think I've done that twice now. The dog gate just fell. Anyways, I thought it might be almost long enough. So I'm going to see if I can, it's got to be eight inches. So I'm going to see if I have enough hair in the back to maybe donate like a couple little ponytails. Um, but I know I definitely, you know, don't in the front, but I'm not going to be able to grow the front out because that's, you know, it's only like a couple inches. But I might have enough in the back. So I think I'm going to just try to do one big cut at a time rather than doing like a bunch of little trims in between. And then I might be able to do that donation one more time. 
Um, I was enjoying growing my hair out. It was more because of circumstance that I just didn't have time to go get a haircut. Um, but I think that with, you know, the whole lifestyle change again and all of that, it'll be quick and easy just to get that inverted bob cut. I like it. It's easy to style. It works really well with the density of my hair. So I think that's what I'm going to go back to. So here is where the desk is for right now. And we just have to get it unloaded and out of there. It's supposed to be pretty easy to get put together based on the reviews online. So the office is still a hot mess, but it'll get a lot better here in about a week or so. We're gonna go into GameStop and see what this Pokemon event is all about. It is Read Across America this week. So we are looking at books of Barnes and Noble and seeing what we can find here. We are back and the kids are resting and Dan's resting. So I'm gonna work on the computer for a little bit to get some things done. You can see I have all my sensey stuff set up out here as well. And then as soon as we get the new desk set up and my office is a little bit more settled, then I won't have to work on this stuff out here, but I'm alternating between getting this catalog stuff sorted out with working on this course. And right now I'm talking about national ownership, so that's the part that I'm working on. You gonna help with the desk together, buddy? He's sitting there trying to figure out how he can help. <laughs> longer to get it out of the box than it is to put it together. Yeah. So it's all completely put together. We're just gonna pop the legs on and that's that. Mm -hmm. They weren't kidding. Assembly is very, very easy. They even post even just screw right in. Way to get the dogs subdued over here. And I'm going to a work event tonight. I'm going to leave in about an hour and a half. And of course the weather monitors just went off and we're underneath a tornado warning. So it's supposed to start storming right when I'm supposed to be arriving at the work event. It's unfortunate. And Penguin's here to help. Getting lit up right now. Yeah. Welcome to my partial new office. It's not quite done yet, but I'm so official because I have a desk now and I can actually work on it. I just have to get all the styrofoam out of here, get all the boxes, put in a thing, hopefully behind me. I'm trying to decide right now whether I'm going to leave this in the middle of the room or whether I'm going to put it over here against the wall. But so far, I kind of really like it in the middle. I like it. So we're going to try it out here in the middle of the floor. For a while, I have about a week or so until the cabinet thing arrives and I can kind of try to figure out what I want to do. And then obviously if I leave this in the middle of the floor, I'll move the chair to a different position. Um, but the top on this is great. It's got a, just a little bit of a texture, but not so much that you couldn't have paper on there and write. And it's kind of a brownish, topish gray. So it goes with a little bit of everything that I have in the room. And then the cabinet is mirrored, so I'm planning on I really like this thing, first of all. So I'm planning on keeping that and keeping my things up there. Probably change some things around on the wall. And then maybe do some vertical storage at some point for some different things. But I like it. It's got a really feminine style. And then these drawers were already put in there. And then it's got a drawer on each side that you can open while you're sitting in the chair, which is nice. So you can be sitting in the chair and open those. And then this you can use as a drawer, which I'm planning on using as a drawer, but if you had a desktop computer, you can just take this, push that down, and you can use it as a keyboard. But I just need the extra storage because I mainly use laptops. So that'll be handy for some storage. We ended up getting another pair of headphones for the kids to use here because they took the other ones we got uh, to school. You have trash from them? Oh, thank you. So Isabella got the teal and blue ones, and Natalie got some hot pink. It has started raining and coming down, and I have to leave in like 15 minutes. Like literally right as the storm's hitting. Get the pink ones? It's a good look, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, get out of my headphones. What do they look like on you? 
Perfect kid size. So I am heading to pick up one of my friends from the marketing team and we are heading out to a work event tonight, a marketing thing. So I'm gonna head over to that and be at that for a couple of hours. There's my music. And then um, the kids and Dan are gonna fend for themselves and eat dinner and everything because it's about five o'clock now. So I'll probably just grab something on my way back in. And I'm excited that we at least got the desk up. I'm gonna try moving everything around tomorrow. So that way when they deliver the cabinetry stuff, it um, can just drop in where I think it's gonna go. So we'll see if I vlog anymore tonight. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go because we're supposed to have the storm that's gonna be here in about 45 minutes and do this event, so we'll see.